Hey everybody, it's Valen from Mischief of Mice, here with part two of Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns content story mode with Valen Frostweaver, the Druid Ranger. Alright, so we left off last time just uh, getting this uh, haphazard group here through to meet up together, and uh, we're going to continue on, apparently an instance from an instance. I did not want to exit, so I just continued recording, but I figured I'd break it up into multiple episodes. So, let's get this going. Oh, gods. So much wreckage. I was expecting carnage, but this... Mordromoth actually took down the entire fleet. Spirits. Could anyone have survived? We need to get down there, fast! I see a camp, and a camp means survivors. Let's go! Graham, get back here! I caught up to him, but I still can't talk to him. I guess I have to talk to him when he gets to his destination because he's, uh, as a barbarian might do, rage? Raging, maybe? <laughs> Couldn't really tell you. I'm Heir Stagolkin's son. I want to know where she is. Bram! You can't just run off like that. We're in enemy territory. Larenthir, glad to see you survived. I need a status report, now. You're a welcome sight, Commander. The situation is grim. Mordormoth tore the fleet apart. The Pact is in ruins. Traherne and Destiny's Edge were taken prisoner. They were alive, but now MIA. And the remaining soldiers no longer trust me. And you're surprised? Scarlet, Aaron, and now this? Mordromoth always uses Silvari to do its dirtiest dirty work. We need to strengthen the defenses around here. Our priority has to be salvaging weapon parts from the crash sites. What about our comrades in the cavern? The Pact does not abandon its own. Look around, sir. There is no more Pact, and the prisoners you want to save are probably already dead. Think it through, soldier. We need greater numbers, or any salvage party we send will disappear like the others. This isn't helping. Just tell us where Destiny's Edge is, please. Larenthir, stand by. I need to think this through. And here's where we choose a path. Alright. Choose between searching for the prisoners and fortifying the camp's defenses. Optional kit advice from additional information from the others. Destiny's Edge were taken prisoner too. Rescuing Larenthir's soldiers might help us pick up the trail. Okay. We need supplies and salvage to build up this position, or we're all gonna die. That's very uh, positive. Let's focus on protecting the soldiers we still have. I say we scare up some turret parts to defend this position. Larenthir's right this time. We have to rescue the packed prisoners. It's both logical and our duty. So I do agree we have to save the prisoners, but what would we be bringing them back to? If we don't have any kind of a defensible position, then I, I think I agree that we would uh, probably fall to whatever is out there. So let's see what this one says here. Forget Larenthir's rescue mission, we don't even know if there's anybody left to rescue, but the rest of us are right here, right now, and those turret parts will give us a fighting chance. What about the imprisoned soldiers? Silvari soldiers, they're not worth the risk. Even if they're still on our side, who says they're alive and ready to fight? The rescue mission is a lot of risk with potentially no reward. I see your point, let's focus on protecting this camp. Well, I can't agree with exactly the words he's saying, but I do agree with uh, protecting the camp. I'm sorry, Larenthir, but I need these troops battle ready. And I don't have time to prove you're still trustworthy. I need you to stand down while we fortify this position. 
Some of my people will stay with you for your own protection. I understand, Commander. I will comply. But for the record, I can still do my duty for this unit and the Pact. Noted. Now, I need a volunteer to guard Larenthir so he stays safe and out of trouble. Rox? You got it, boss. Our priority now is salvaging turret parts from the wreckage. We need real firepower to protect this position. Spread out and search the debris field. We're looking for salvageable weapon parts. Now fall in. Let's get to work. Wow. Very demanding. But hey. Don't look so worried, Bram. Air can take care of herself, as a wise old genius once said. Thanks, Timey, but go easy on the Asura wisdom for now. I'm a little preoccupied. <laughs> All right, so let's head on down to the next green star objective. Oh, of course, where there's a whole ton of pocket raptors. This sounds promising. They came from the soldiers. Now they're just another meal for the skinny little scouts. Oh, wow. Okay. This is bad. I'm backing up. Got my initial burst, but, uh,. Okay, still one more pocket raptor, dude. Quick now. That burning wreck will have what we need, but we need to get to it before the fire does. What burning wreck? I don't see what he's saying, but I see the uh, spot on the map. Commander, you need to see this. Dragon, Mordremoth, it's in my head. Can you hear it? We all hear Mordremoth's call. To weak willed Sulvari, it sounds like thunder. To me, it's more like a buzzing fly. Then I need you to lead by example. Show everybody that Mordremoth can be resisted. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. So, how do I support the guy? All right, you, you need to move off of him because it's really annoying. Mordremoth's voice. I can hear it. It's trying to assert control over the Silvari here. No, I... No, I'm, I'm not. I... Ah, help me! Ah. Okay. Fight it, soldier. Remember who you are. Why you're here. Mordremoth is the enemy. I know who the enemy is. Ah, uh, here we go. I know. <laughs> Voldremoth has chosen me. I will obey my master. <laughs> of course you will. He's gone. The dragon has him now. Yep. And he's gone for good now. See, Silvar can't be trusted. When Mordremoth calls, they answer. Did you just condemn my entire race? It seems the dragon brings out the worst in you, too. You guys really need to stop rubber banding around. It's difficult to watch. Oh boy, pocket raptors again. Ooh. Let's just toss that out. Wow, these guys in their big groups really don't make me feel very good. <laughs> very bitey. Whew. Okay. Nothing useful in there. Keep looking. Yeah, I'm tempted to just push you off this ledge if I could. All right, moving on. Come on, Frosty. Let's go. Wait. That Zoja's golem, Mr. Sparkles. Not good. If he's here, where's she? 
And in what condition? There should still be usable parts inside what's left of the ship. Step lively. The ship's unstable. Feels like there's something moving under it. Hmm. I think we need to go inside and investigate. Oh, hello. I didn't see us actually gather any parts yet, but if he says so, then I am all for it. They seem to have gotten all the aggro anyway, so that works for me. my eyes out here. Let's just help them speed up their healing. I don't think this goes anywhere. Oh yeah, it does. Oh, look at that. Hello. Things? What are you? Guards? This is where I think it would be excellent if you could actually push enemies off ledges. It's silly that they can't, but you, you can fall off at ledges, but they can't. It would make things a little more interesting. We're good. I now have the makings of a basic defensive turret. Nice work. Okay. And as that's the edge of the current map... Uh-oh. Maybe we head this way? Yeah, that works. Okay, so we can just walk back through the rocks. <laughs> that seemed simple enough. <laughs> Wonder if that was intentional. Yeah, everybody's with me. Alright, well. Back to base. That was a bit risky. I almost missed my uh, placement there. Might actually do a bit of this. Let's do a lot of damage up front. Again, having a pet and an ability to escape definitely helps. <laughs> Back to camp. Evil beetles. Rox, I need an update. Any problems with Larenthir? No problems. Most of the soldiers won't talk to him, though. I think he's taking it pretty hard. Keep watching him. Any trouble starts and he's involved. I want you and Frostbite ready to jump in. Everybody, form up and do your jobs. It's a long time until daylight. For those that don't know, Frostbite is Rock's pet devourer. Oh, looks like I've got to fend off the enemy's awesome. night attack. This turret will pack quite a punch, but it's a bit touchy. Of course it's a bit touchy. Altering this camp's defenses sets up a safe spot for Destiny to pick up back to. Thanks, Fox. I'd feel a lot better if we had any idea what happened. It would be even better if you guys decided to help. I guess I could just take all these guys by myself. Well, not that I'm by myself. I've got Frosty here. They're just willing to let the cannon just get destroyed and the pack commander get uh, killed. I just don't want to be dinner for some plant monster. <laughs> Indubitably, I came to fight an elder dragon, not some leafy imitation. <laughs> well, come on, folks. Come 
one tough to go get him. That went much better. Don't let anyone else get taken. I won't. But you have to keep your head and voice down, or you'll be the next one to go. <laughs> nice. Everybody's really friendly here. Oh, there's another group coming in. It appears, as usual in uh, story mode, you don't end up getting uh, oops, you don't end up getting whoa, any uh, drops in that area. Yeah, I did not like that guy's field of attack. That was really, really big. Difficult to dodge. I mean, I guess I could use my uh, teleport ability, but I really don't like using that unless I have to. Okay, another group coming. Let's just pepper them with cripples. That don't do anything. Okay. Oh boy. That was a bit much. This is looking a bit rough. <laughs> okay. Let's drop number five here and pulse out a bunch of cripples. This guy is pretty cool. Let's zoom in a bit. He's on a mount. Ooh. Oh, that that could have been catastrophic. Let's, let's get away from the edge. Wow. Right, tough to go get him. Your turn. <laughs> nice hit. Nice counter hit. <laughs> there he is. Sharpen your blades and guard your vitals. I'm back. <laughs> and he's already maxed out his elite specialization. <laughs> because he's Ritlock, of course. <laughs> I really have to remember to start using my teleport. Like right now. <laughs> that was close. Oh boy. That didn't go well. Seems immune to uh, immobilization. I wonder if his uh, 
area attack actually will count as a projectile. And I can... Uh, no, I didn't get that sooner. Reflect. Let's get some extra pet damage going in here. Whoa. Nice try, dude. There we go. Hello, Redhawk. Hope you don't mind me joining in, Commander. It looked like you could use some help. Yep. Tribune, you're alive! But where have you been? And what's that new magic you're using? Later, Cup. All you need to know is that I'm back, and I'm better than ever. Right now, we've got comrades to rescue and dragon minions to kill. Ritlock's right. We need to find Destiny's Edge and hit Mordremoth where it lives. Let's go, Tribune. Time for us to kill another Elder Dragon. Commander, there are more Pale Reavers out there. I'd like to gather them together and take command. As a Silvari-only unit, we can monitor and protect ourselves from threats both internal and external. If any of us show signs of faltering, the others will do what needs to be done. All right, request granted. Good luck, Larenthir. Listen up, we're breaking camp. Get the wounded to the Silver Wastes. Larenthir will remain here to secure the area. Thank you, Commander. I'm headed to the high ground. That's where the Pale Reavers were trained to go. Also, talk to the Pale Reavers' lead scout. If they overheard any valuable intel since we arrived, he'll know about it. Looks like part number two Trini, has been completed. I saw you dive into the mists. Where did you end up? How did you learn new magic? <sighs> I don't have time for this. Look. History is full of legendary figures, heroes and villains, idols and monsters. While I was in the mists, I figured out how to harness their power and make it work for me, okay? Uh, okay, but I have a lot more questions. Save them. We've got a mission, soldier. Let's get to work. <laughs> Alright, so, heirloom seed pouch, three bags of Vertum Brink supplies, different. a loot bag, he fights different too. How Five bottles of airship oil, and most importantly, the Tome of Maguma Mastery. I'm glad Except. he's here. That looks valuable. Me too. It's a good omen. We took heavy losses, but we're still in this fight. And I just got my first mastery point. There we go. And it forces you, as I expected, to get glider basics straight away. All right, gain access to the glider so that you can glide across the highest points of the Heart of Maguma. 61% complete requirements. Heart of Maguma is three. Okay. And there we are. Starting into Maguma. As you can see, I really haven't done any of the silver weights with uh, Valen. Silver Wastes, he hasn't progressed very far in his storyline at all, so this is just kind of a jump. But hey, I am not complaining because it's still allowing me to uh, get in here and have a good time. So, I think that uh, ends episode 2 of Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns story mode content with Valen Frostweaver, the Druid Ranger, and we'll see you next time. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please give a like, comment, share, or subscribe. And until next time, see ya!